I'm Diane Rohde, and I'm here at Dr. Spiegel's office, and um, we're here to tell our story. I had cancer a year or so ago, and I had received chemo for well over a year, and hence my whole system was in bad shape. Um, and I've lost energy, I've lost the ability to uh, walk normally, um, I've had pain um, because of it, I've had brain fog, I've had many issues that I'm probably forgetting to mention here, but lo and behold, um, my son, David Rohde, um, brought me here and I have had 10 uh, oxygen chamber treatments and some Beamer treatments. And I can't tell you how surprised I am. Having trouble walking, it felt like my legs were extremely heavy. Um, and part of the reason was I had little or no feeling in my legs. Um, couldn't feel my feet, so I'm always looking down to uh, see where they're planted. And sometimes when you're walking or going somewhere, you forget to think about that. And I fall a lot. I fall a lot. And I've got scars to prove it, which, by the way, my scars are improving also. <laughs> but um, so now what I feel is my feet and I don't have to look down, and my legs are stronger, and they're not in the least bit heavy anymore. Um, and um, it, it just makes getting out and doing things so much better, whereas I used to pretty much stay home and not do much for fear of what could possibly happen. Um, and uh, now that's not the case. I, it's unbelievable, really. So um, I attribute it to this for sure. Um, my, my feet don't swell like they used to. If I sat here and crossed my legs uh, before, they would swell. They are not swelling. I have energy back. I sleep like a baby. I wake up with energy. I can't believe it. Yesterday I was cooking for Christmas and I went all day long and I didn't have to take a nap. Um, the brain fog has improved. I am so much better. I have still room for improvement there, but I, I, I couldn't be happier. I don't have pain in my hands, which I did. I think my skin has even improved. I don't know if that's the case or not, but I'll tell you, I can't, I couldn't be happier. And God love him, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's been great. So. I'm David Rohde, uh, her son. Um, I ended up coming across this because, well, first I studied exercise science and um, we studied hyperbaric treatment for elite athletes. Um, they used it for uh, pre and post high intensity uh, exercise and help recovery times and uh, post surgery or sports related injuries. Um, so that was how I became aware of it. <clears throat> and I had COVID, uh, which was uh, pretty intense and had uh, a number of effects and I still have a number of lingering effects. And there's no clear protocol on how, uh, how to address this. So uh, it made sense to me that my, ox uh, my oxygen was low because of COVID, I was deprived of oxygen. So it made sense to try oxygen therapy. Let me try to saturate my body with oxygen. So I reached out to them, uh, spoke with Lauren, Dr. Spiegel, um, and seemed like the right approach to try. <laughs> so I was pretty excited about it. And before I even proceeded, I reached out to my mom and uh, she was dealing with all of her post chemo treatment, was, which wrecked havoc on her body. Um, I didn't think she'd ever be the same person again. So uh, I just, would you want to try this treatment? And uh, no hesitation whatsoever, she jumped on it. Um, I was surprised because I, I don't know how much she knew about it, you know, a hyperbaric treatment, getting in a chamber. I didn't know if she'd, I was surprised she wanted to jump on that. So I'm very happy about it. I'm more thrilled about it because I've gotten to see the results. And um, I'm only three treatments in. Um, she's done two weeks. Uh, and within three days, we could already see dramatic results. Um, I can be, I try to be, remain a realist. I can be a skeptic. So I tried to uh, maintain that uh, perspective on things. And so I thought maybe some of it was placebo. 
Um, but it was so dramatic that uh, on your day three, <clears throat> not only was she feeling wonderful and like she mentioned the sleep and energy and her happiness, and uh, but on day three you went to a doctor, right? Yes, I forgot to mention that. Yeah. So I went to St. Luke's. I've had some eye issues, cataract surgery and that sort of thing. And in the process, they said, oh, you've got glaucoma. So they took me to the glaucoma doctor within that um, St. Luke's and checked me and they said, yep, you got glaucoma. And so they scheduled me for treatment. And when I went in on my appointment for the treatment, they retested, you know, they relook at things and he kept looking and checking and testing and this and that. And um, he said, you don't have glaucoma. So now that's a miracle. That's a miracle. I, I, I definitely attribute it to this process. My eyesight has improved. So, and he even looked at me the other day and he said, I've never seen your eyes look so clear. So, you know, it's, it's a gift beyond words. The clarity in her eyes was incredible. I think this was before her first week was over. Um, and uh, just knowing what the, happened with the doctor, um, seeing her eyes and understanding uh, three weeks ago, uh, she couldn't navigate <clears throat> an uneven pavement. Uh, it took very careful place, carefully placed steps. And she would avoid even level grass um, just because it was un possibly uneven or she couldn't feel her legs. And um, I had observed her uh, multiple times, you know, fall down and uh, eventually could have been, you know, could have injured herself. So um, she had to really navigate cautiously. Um, and before her first week's over, I'm just starting my first treatment. I come out of the building and I see her doing laps uh, in the parking lot. And she is now walking over grass and stepping over parking blocks and walking up steps without issue. This was not possible three weeks ago. Um, same thing with the conversations. Uh, she would lose track mid-conversation. We could be in detail about something um, and she would just forget what I just said. I'd have to repeat myself, and, and I, I was fine with it. I, I realized there was a new level I'd accept uh, of who she was, but this all seems to have changed now, um, and I'm incredibly optimistic about the treatment and, and to see where she's at. Uh, she's her old self. She has the energy, and uh, uh, her brains, <laughs> brains are back, and uh, she's um, incredibly happy. It's, it's a little annoying. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, she's incredibly happy now, and uh, it, the energy, and um, it's, it's just unbelievable. Uh, and then to have the doctor within three days uh, do that was, was remarkable. Yeah. So I'm still early on in my treatments. Um, I've felt it uh, day two, I could feel a little difference. Day three was undeniable. So I understand why, where she was at now on her day three. Um, but I came home with a bunch more energy. My mind is much more clear. With COVID, um, there are so many different things I had to deal with. Um, no energy, brain fog, uh, damage to the lungs, a number of different organs. Uh, high inflammation in the heart, uh, elevated kidney numbers, liver numbers. Um, I lost hearing, have tinnitus. So there's a long list of things to treat. And um, I've regained some of the hearing back. The tinnitus is not painful anymore. It's tolerable. It's still ringing. Uh, perhaps that'll get better. Um, I'm quite optimistic, especially after seeing what's happened with her. Um, my mental clarity is improving dramatically. The energy, <clears throat> I had three treatments in a weekend and it was <laughs> one of the better weekends I've had in a long time because I was shocked at how much I could uh, enjoy things, uh, broader concepts uh, that I, post COVID, um, my mind just did not quite function properly. So um, yeah, the results I've had are remo remarkable in a short period of time. And I'm cr incredibly optimistic where it's gonna go. I look forward to seeing my next blood labs because uh, after two weeks of this, I'm, uh, I think there's gonna be some pretty nice results. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm so pleased, it's, it's definitely apparent. Perfect example is, uh, too bad you guys didn't have video of this, her walking up, I even said to her, um, you're, oh, you're not even going to look, huh? She's walking up the grass, which is a hill, it's tilted, and I'm used to her at least grabbing the arm or taking a look where she's navigating. Uh, she didn't even, she did not look down, she just, and she said, I can feel now, I don't have to, uh, which is remarkable. So I feel I'm really fortunate that my son brought me here because before this, I had given in to, I'm older, this is the way it's going to be, I've aged at mock speed since the chemo, and I just didn't think it was possible. And he brought me here, I was um, 
you know, I, I can't say I was hesitant. I was grasping for straws at that point, and he was so positive about this process that um, I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And it's, um, it's given me my life back. This, this team of Dr. Spiegel and his office, they're, they're absolutely phenomenal. Every one of them love what they're doing. They're dedicated to us people who need their help and so accommodating. Um, I would highly recommend it. In fact, I have um, highly recommended it to <clears throat> many people already. So uh, I look forward to our future. And I thank my son and the, the office of Dr. Spiegel. Um, yeah, seeing the results that happened with her, if, if you have any of these issues that she's mentioned, give it a try. If you had COVID, <laughs> give it a try. If you have anything where you've tried a number of other things and it just didn't work, uh, I, I think this is worth a shot, um, you know, with, within reason, I, I, depending on what you're dealing with. But um, I think. I am pretty surprised at the number of things I witnessed with her, uh, with what her doctors have said, um, and with what I understand of it, uh, and what I've already felt in myself just after a few treatments. Um, it's certainly worth a shot. And uh, I think the results, I know we've been surprised with the results, and uh, I think um, we had the bar set pretty realistically, and it's definitely exceeded our expectations.